you know, people ask me about winning and losing. And early on, when I was a lot younger as a coach, not that I'm too old now, but when I was a lot younger as a coach, winning and losing meant, did we get the gold medal? And if we didn't get the gold medal, it's you lost. And it didn't matter if you were second or last place. Kind of still holds true. You win or you don't win. There's only one champion. Everyone else is not the champion. But winning, to me, it's a lot more about are these kids reaching their goals? It, every, every club goes into ups and downs. Sometimes you have the teams that are the top in the province, the top in the country. Sometimes they're just the top in their city. But sometimes they're not. You know, and it's, it's how do you deal with those things? So winning and losing to me is I'd rather see a kid competing at the next level. If you win five national championships, but then you don't make the university of your choice, are you winning? Are you going to a university that you're settling for? And I just feel like this is how we're, we're setting our kids up. It's, it's win at all cost. And I just feel like as I've gotten older, I understand more that it has nothing to do with my record as a coach or more that my record as a coach is defined by the success of the athletes long-term. Are they reaching their goals? Are they happy? Do they love the sport? Do they actually come back and coach with us? Do they keep in touch with us? You know, like there's, there's medals to be won and everyone wants to win, you know? So it's, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on board with that. I want to win. I absolutely hate losing, but I also know that if I've got a kid who's reaching their goals and we haven't won, we've won.